What's up VV community? This week they're doing the Batman drop season 2 so I decided that I wanted to go over season 1 again and the artists involved. I know that there's a lot of components when it comes to future price like aesthetics as well as the serial number but today I want to just go over specifically the artists and which ones I like. Let's go down the first one and of course Todd McFarlane the creator of Spawn okay and of course the fact of the matter is that this is the first VV collectible so of course this is a no-brainer here next is joe mad video game legend and comic legend as well he's known as the guy who tied japanese style into american comics also in the video game he's the founder of virgil games came out with series like darksiders and battle chasers next is edward rizzo author of hundred bullets Man well known for bringing American comics and culture to South America through his events Crack Bang Boom. So in South America, there's still not a lot of comic based events, but Crack Bang Boom, which is in his hometown Rosario in Argentina, it's considered to be one of the largest in the world and the largest in South America. So he's really well known within the community as being one of the most famous South American artists. And also, 100 Bullets is an absolute gem if you ever have the time to read it. And of course, this Becky Cloonan, absolute gem right here. Um, she's the first woman to ever be involved in the Bat series. So, of course, the first female on BV, but also the first female in the Bat series. This one's going to appreciate like crazy in the future. Now, let's take a look at season two real quick. And we got who here? Jason Fabic. Okay, guys, this guy's my favorite. And the reason why is because I think he's a rising star within the comic industry. Three Jokers, that's his latest release. He released it about a year ago. But that's an instant classic. And it's been hyped up. It was it it took five years to write. And it's one of those comics that everybody's gonna be talking about in the future. And many comic aficionados, they compare Jason Fabok to Jim Lee in terms of art style. And I do agree with that sentiment. So this is Dick Sprang during the bronze era of comics. He was Batman's ghostwriter. So basically DC Comics, they were afraid that the main artist of Batman was going to get drafted for World War II. So they brought on Dick Sprang as his ghostwriter. And this is Amanda Connor, the lady who was ranked as number two most influential female artist of all time. She was heavily involved in the creation of Harley Quinn and her style, even though she wasn't like the founder, she was the one who heavily influenced it and who revived the brand, especially for the movie series that they had. And then this is Gary Frank. He's best well known for doing Superman. He's considered arguably as the best Superman artist of all time. And then this is Darwin Cook. You'd think this was dorky, but he did this on purpose because this was his art style and it was very, very well loved within the community. He's perhaps the most popular guy on this list here in terms of fan and the love that he gets from the community, guys. But unfortunately, he did pass away from cancer in 2018. But just talking about his career really quickly, he did a remake for Eisner, who's considered to be like the forefather of comics. And so this is like the greatest honor that you could ever give to a comics artist to redo his work. That just kind of validates his skill as an artist within the community. You definitely should be buying these Batmans if you have the opportunity, especially this week's drop. You guys can't miss it. You cannot miss it. 